Coltondale Elementary, team 18067A. All right, team, are you ready to begin your inspection sheet? Yes. yes. Okay. Is your team only competing with one robot, having no spare or replacement robots? Yes. Yes. Does your team testify that the designing, building, and programming of the robot was done only by the students on the team? Yes. Does your robot display at least one clearly visible VEX IQ challenge license plate or custom plate of similar size with a team number clearly written on it? Yes. Does your robot fit within the starting size of 11 inches by 19 inches by 15 inches bounded by the starting position? Does your robot fit within the starting position? Yes. Is your robot constructed only from the official robot components from the VEX IQ product line and the mechanical structural components from the VEX Robotics by Hexbug product line? All rubber bands must be identical in length and thickness to those included in the VEX IQ product line. One eighth metal shafts from the VEX IDR product line are legal. Yes. Any robot decorations are non functional and do not affect performance. Yes. Robot installed VEX IQ brain can communicate with a VEX IQ controller and is properly paired using VEX IQ 9 megahertz radio, VEX IQ. 2.4 gigahertz radio or VEX IQ smart radio? Yes. Robot uses no more than six VEX IQ smart motors. Additional motors cannot be used on the robot, even ones that are not connected. One, two, three. Yes. Robot uses no more than one single VEX IQ battery pack or six AA batteries. Additional batteries cannot be used, even ones that are not connected. Yes. VEX IQ firmware, VEX OS, is up to date. Yep. No robot parts have been modified with the exception of cutting metal VEX IQ or VEX EDR shafts to any custom length. Yes. VEX does not, our robot does not have components that are intentionally detachable, pose an unnecessary risk of entanglement, or pose a risk of potential damage to the playing field elements or other robots. Yes. Team, does your robot pass final inspection? Yes. Please sign and date your inspection sheet. All right, team, please pair your controller to the robot and move your robot to the starting position.
Team, please tell us the event code that you'll be using today. UE9XC. Okay. And are you going to be attempting a programming skills match or a driving skills match? Driving. Drivers, are you ready? Yes. Let me turn the sound up so we'll be able to hear it. About right there is fine. Okay, are you ready? One point for an orange riser. One point for another orange riser. Another point for a teal riser. That makes three. Another additional point for another teal riser. So that brings it to four points. Another point for a teal riser. That brings it to five points. There's also three teal risers in a row, so that's an additional three points for a total of eight points.
Yes. Drivers, will you be attempting a programming or skills match or a driving skills match? Driving. Drivers, are you ready? This riser is touching the goal, so that is zero points. This riser is also touching the goal. With zero points. Drivers, will you be attempting a programming skills match or a driving skills match? Driving. Drivers, are you ready?
one point for an orange right answer. Another point for an orange riser. Another point for a teal riser. Another point for a teal riser. another point for a teal riser. These teal risers are also three in a row. So it's an additional three points for a total of eight points.